Good morning and welcome again to Morning Praise and Prayer. We're using the same materials we've used for a while now, the first service in the Methodist Worship Book of Britain and in order of morning prayer for the United Methodist Hymnal and the prayer list for August 30th for Newark United Methodist Church. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Loving God, we have come to worship you. New every morning is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors, and to devote each day to, our, to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. And our scriptures from Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21, message translation. Love from the center of who you are. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on to dear life to good. Be good friends who love deeply, practice playing second fiddle. Don't burn out. Keep yourself fueled and aflame. Be alert servants of the master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times, pray all the harder. Help needy Christians be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies, no cursing under your breath. Laugh with your happy friends when they're happy. Share tears when they're down. Get along with each other, don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it by doing good. Our scriptures tell us that if you see your enemy hungry, Go buy that person lunch, or if he's thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil. Amen. And our psalm, uh, 146th. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul, praise God. All my life long, I'll praise God, singing songs to my God as long as I live. Don't put your life in the hands of experts who know nothing of life, of salvation life. Mere humans don't have what it takes. When they die, their projects die with them. Instead, get help from the God of Jacob. Put your hope in God and know real blessing. God made sky and soil, sea and all the fish in it. He always does what he says. He defends the wronged. He feeds the hungry. God frees prisoners. He gives sight to the blind. He lifts up the fallen. God loves good people, protects strangers, takes the side of orphans and widows, but makes short work of the wicked. God's in charge always. Zion's God is God for good. Hallelujah. Indeed. And now for our prayers of thanksgiving. Let us give thanks to God. For the love of our Father, the maker of all, the giver of all good things, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God for the world's beauty and the changing seasons, and for the life that we have been given, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lived and worked among us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his suffering and death on the cross and his resurrection to new life, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For his rule over all things and his presence in the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who teaches and guides us, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
for the grace of the Spirit in the work of the church and the life of the world, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. So for what are you grateful to God this day? Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us lift up our concerns to God, eternal God, loving parent. We pray for the church throughout the world, for this church and all who call it home, that in faith and unity, we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, that they may seek justice, freedom, and peace for all. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work, for all our neighbors, for those who have lost work, for families that have lost loved ones this week, for those who are finding it difficult to work from home, for those alone, for those affiliated with the University of Delaware, for those who are without a home or at risk of losing their home, our first responders, police officers, paramedics, EMTs, firefighters, and support personnel. For organizations and volunteers who are feeding those in need. For those impacted by the recent storms and tornadoes. For local businesses struggling in these difficult times. For those facing food uncertainties. For those who are in prison and their friends and family. For those with or suffering from the after effects of COVID-19. Teachers, school staff, and administrators as they begin the school year. For individuals and families facing difficult decisions. For postal workers. For those in, oops. That's fine, that we might name aloud or silently now. That we may so use your gifts, that together we might find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety, or sickness, and for the cares of this community, for those struggling with drug and alcohol addiction. For the young men with mental health issues, depressed and possibly suicidal, that he gets the help he needs. For all who serve and sacrifice for our country and for those who love and wait at home. For a friend and colleague undergoing open heart surgery. For the one in need of peace and healing for many health concerns. For the one in need of healing for breast or brain cancer. For the one in need of relief from the pain and for a successful abdominal surgery. For healthcare workers and so many service industry people balancing health and safety of themselves and their loved ones. For the young woman with life-threatening clotting issues whose doctors are stumped and who is afraid of dying and leaving her young kids without a mom. For the family whose loved one passed after being taken off life support. For the woman starting chemo for, for stomach cancer. For the families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19 and are unable to be together to lend comfort and support. For the one who had a successful pacemaker replacement surgery, prayers of gratitude. For the people of Lebanon. For the people of Belarus. 
for the one who has just unexpectedly lost two family members and who has a third with a major health concern. Prayers of gratitude for support and help of church family. For healing of breathing heart, pain and bodily injury from the, uh, from the terrible auto accident, tornado damage to home from recent storms. For comfort, safety, and peace for the 93-year-old in declining health who fell and broke her hip. For guidance and wisdom for the researchers working hard to find a vaccine and cure for COVID. For the chronically homeless. For the one who underwent open heart surgery successfully. Prayers of praise and thanksgiving and prayers for continued healing and strength through rehab. For the one in need of healing and strength as she undergoes weeks of radiation following surgery to remove a malignant basal cell. For the one who needs strength and stamina to preserve through long working hours to persevere. With thanksgiving for successful melanoma surgery for a cousin and her family who has anemia, several GI issues and pain, and whose doctors are doing testing on her liver. For healing for the young woman with sudden onset complete sight loss in her right eye with severe pain and guidance for her medical team. Thanksgiving for a successful pacemaker replacement surgery. For success for the one undergoing a procedure to drain fluid from the lungs. For success for the one going through a second round of an internship interview process. For the one whose husband and their family on the passing of their wife and mother. For the one who underwent a successful liver transplant with prayers for gratitude. And for any others we might wish to name aloud or silently now. God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. We pray you accept and answer our prayers, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So today's blessing has a little bit of an edge to it. It's from Mission Mobilization in Thailand, an wow. Indian benediction, it's called. Now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father be with you. And may the Holy Spirit come upon you and disturb you and trouble you and set before you an impossible task and dare you to do it until in your desperation you fall on your knees and remain there until he fills you with his power which alone will enable you to do it. And then, but only then, may the Lord grant you his peace. Amen. 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 Have a wonderful day.